Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Here we are, another day living the dream. It's a bit later on, as it's you can probably tell. Not the morning. It's not the morning, but it's morning for you guys. Yeah. It's um, loaded in the morning. Yes. <laughs> what? Yes. Yes. But out today doing some Cinderella -y stuff. Cinderella, -y, Cinderella. -y. Yeah. Yep. Exciting. It's good. Yeah. It's really good. It's just also nice to be out in London. Mm. I like being out in London because I did a bit of shopping afterwards as well. Yeah. Are you excited for the cast to be complete? Yeah, I was saying this to you earlier because the Frozen cast is complete and you guys have like a WhatsApp group where you chat to each other and you can get to know each other because yeah. it, the show doesn't start until next March so you've got like a good run up to not have that awkward first day like the first yeah. day for you could, well the first day for all of us is going to be amazing because we're going to get in a room with people who we might not have met but we will have like spoken to because mm. the casting happened so far in advance to when the show started which is so rare like you never get that yeah so it's going to be amazing but you're at that point where you know who your cast is and you can like start making friends and breaking the ice yeah. and i'm so desperate for that i'm just uh. so desperate to have people to play with. Yeah. Well, I don't know because auditions are still happening for Cinderella, so yeah. it might be a couple of more months in total. <sighs> Maybe just soon. for Christmas. It'll be soon. It'll be soon. So today, not today today, but this today, yeah. is detox on your social media. Yeah, digital detox day. Yes. And you're doing it? Yes. I've not said I'm doing it. Sh should I do it? If you want to do it, you'd find it a lot less challenging than me doing it, yeah. I reckon. I'm pretty cash. Yeah. But what are your opinions on it? And why is it good to do it? Well, I've got up, because this was started by Zoe Sub. Yeah. And I got an email from her team a couple months ago being like, we're doing this thing, would you be interested in like getting involved and posting a picture and like actually doing the detox day and like spreading awareness? Because it's all about mental health, basically. Mm. Uh, and what she said, we hope that the magnitude of this campaign, which highlights the areas of social media that can badly affect people's mental health, will offer those that need it some advice, guidance and reassurance. It will also be a great chance for people to re-engage in real life and think about how social media makes them feel in order to come back and implement any changes they feel they need making. Mm. I've actually found a better balance between social media and real life um, during lockdown. Yeah. I found it a lot easier because I feel like when I was out and about and doing exciting things, I instinctively just wanted to share that on social media, which meant I was using social media more often to post my own stuff, which then meant I was looking at social media more and consuming more of other people's stuff. Yeah. So I would often find myself falling down rabbit holes and just scrolling for ages and ages and getting like stuck in that loop. But because of lockdown, I've not really been at the theatre at all. I've not mm. been out and about. I've just been in the house. So I've had less to post about, which means I've just gone on social media less and just not yeah. been sucked down those rabbit holes as often. But still, when I do get stuck down those rabbit holes, I'm there for a long time. So I still, <laughs> I still need to find like <clears throat> ways of not getting into a loop of just mindlessly scrolling yeah. through Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook and just getting stuck in that circuit. Yeah. And also I just think it's a good thing just to switch off completely every yeah. now and again, just to take a huge step back yeah. because then it does make you realise how much you use it or how reliant you are on it or how often you check your phone even when you don't have notifications. Um, so then when you come back to it, you're just more mindful of that. Yeah. I think it's also important, like, when you take your time out of social media and, like, shut it down, mm. effectively, to take stock of your own life. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Because you can get obsessed with other people's and how wonderful it is. And you just sort of forget of all the good things that might be happening in your life, like yeah. your family, friends, or your pet, or your job. Yeah, you your start job. thinking, like, your grass is always greener. Yeah, and you're looking at someone who's on a yacht in, like, Bahamas, and you're like, oh my god, like, they have, like, the best life. And I feel like in lockdown, like, the other sort of side to the sword is that, because people have had free time, mm. like, it's more prevalent now that people are looking at other people yeah. on holiday, 
or on a private jet and going like I've not left the house for two weeks and he, this person's on a private yeah. jet with like strawberries and cream and champagne but also like the other way around as well I feel like the more you look at social media especially during lockdown when the state of the world is not the best you can find yourself getting like really depressed by just mm. seeing constant sadness yeah. and like an explosion in this country and then a shooting in this country yeah. and then <laughs> the pandemic's gotten worse in this country and they're having to go on lockdown again and then hearing people say horrible things about your industry when you're like jobless and yeah. you kind of do get sort of stuck down this never-ending downward spiral mm. and you kind of go oh my god everything's the worst doom and gloom the world's ending and then mm. you step back and you're like actually let me just think about where i am right now and yeah. all of like the good things that are actually going on in my life yeah. Sometimes it's also just a good thing to take a step back from all of that sadness as well before mm. you do start sort of... Yeah, concentrate like on it. yourself a bit, yeah. a bit of self-care. I've said this before and I think it's an important message to send out for people who don't like create content or don't like, mm. you know, have a following or don't post pictures, you know, for, for more than just them. Yeah. Mainly for an audience. That it's all fake. You know what I mean? Like a lot yeah. of it, well, not, not all of it, but a lot of it's fake, a lot mm. of it's set up, a lot of it's all for the end product. It's a highlight reel. Yeah. I said it before about Casey Neistat and how amazing his vlogs are, mm. but it's only when you vlog yourself you realise how we set up shot. Mm. You know, certain shots to look amazing and it's there's a lot of like running to camera and it's... Well, there was, a, there was one thing that he, I think he said it quite a lot, but I remember the first time that I saw him say it where when he was daily vlogging, mm. he wasn't going to bed until like 5 a.m. Yeah. and then was getting up at like 7, 8 a.m. Yeah. because he had a young child who yeah. would need to be up at that time or, you know, was just, had to be out of the house for various other things. So imagine, and he like, he daily vlogged for like three years. So imagine only getting like two hours sleep every night for three years. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. not, healthy like no human should ever put themselves yeah. through that for the sake of creativity or for the sake of their job like that yeah. i feel like we really glamorize burning out and like working ourselves to the bone yeah. and working so hard that we make ourselves ill like that's not cool like yeah. we shouldn't be striving to burn out yeah. and i feel like social media is responsible for that because we see so many people being so overly productive and we see people doing... Well, that's, that's my point, like, uh, we see people yeah, being overly yeah. productive, but it's all... 99% of it is a lie. Yeah. It's like all for, you know, for show. Or it's true, but it's just there's so much more to it than that. Yeah, yeah. There's so much more to everyone's lives that you see. So they might be doing all the things that they say they're doing, but there's, like, gaps in between those things that are filled with, like, family time yeah. or you know, having a bubble bath or, you know, whatever, like there's, there's more, there's always more. Yeah. There's always more. Like what you see is like this. You're seeing that much of a picture that's this yeah, big. Yeah, through a keyhole. Yeah. But yeah, I just think it's important to look after your mental health. So yes. I think that's the main thing. That's the main point. I want people to take away from this video that they can. Yeah. Because you might wake up in the morning and go, oh, I'm not going to do it. And then they might see this video and go, actually, no, I'll do 24 hours mm. and turn the phone back on. Yeah. Well, well, media apps. We talk about self-care all the time and the things that we think about when we think of self-care is like having a bubble bath mm. or doing your nails or mm. uh, doing a face mask, you know, all sort of like pampering type things. Mm. But a form of self-care is understanding what makes your brain hurt and like yeah. what makes you feel bad and the things that affect you negatively and recognizing that and taking a step back like I always talk about how on Instagram you should only follow the people who make you feel good about yourself like if you're following people who make you feel crap about your own life and they are those people where you're like oh I wish my life was like that and you just yeah. feel like this weird sense of like envy and uncomfortable Ness. Yeah. Whenever you look at their feeds, because because you're comparing your life to theirs, and yeah. you're like, well, I can never do that. I'll never be as good as that person. Yeah, you need to unfollow those yeah. people because you're just bring yourself down. If it's, if 
we're talking about self-care and self-care is knowing when to step back from social media and I'm following all of those people. I, I would make the argument that keeping yourself following those people and keeping yourself in that constant state of lusting after what someone else has or comparing yourself and always feeling like you fall short, I would argue that that's a, a type of self-harm. Yeah. Like you are harming your everyday existence yeah. by constantly making yourself feel bad about yourself. Yeah. So I would argue that self-care is more than just like having a bubble bath when you feel like it. By all means, have a bubble bath. I'm yeah. going to do tonight. But <clears throat> also just recognize what it is on social media that makes you feel good and what makes you feel bad. And don't feel bad for curating your feed to only make you feel good. Why, why would you stay subscribed to people or keep following people who only make you feel bad about yeah. yourself? Don't, don't convince yourself that it's, oh, it's good to have a balanced feed of people who make me feel great about myself yeah. and then people who make me feel terrible. Like, no, you should only be feeling happy. Yeah. At all times. But on social media, that means unfollowing certain people. Um, well, that's that, really. Um... Hopefully we make you happy, but if we don't, it's fine. And we will not hold it against yeah, you if it's you want to follow us. Um, yeah, so have a great day, whatever you do. Yeah. If you're still using social media, that's all good. If you're not, good luck and enjoy the day doing other things and whatever you can do in 24 hours. Um, but yeah, exciting. Uh, anything else to add? Nope. Right. Bye everyone. Bye. Be safe out there. Don't forget to smile. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Bye.